episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. As always, I'm Andrew Kavanaugh. I wanted to say thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, today, you may notice that I am dressed very peculiar-like. Um, I have my Tony Monero outfit on today because I am here to review what quite possibly be the best movie released uh, in the 70s, and that movie is Saturday Night Fever. Um, this is the new Blu-ray release that came out very recently. This is to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the uh, landmark film. And uh, this is actually the director's cut version, which has never been seen before on any format. Um, there was a PG version that came out many years ago. Um, that version is, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired, but still a good movie. Um, this here is probably the best this movie has ever looked. I am not going to really talk about the movie itself. Uh, this is a masterful film. Um, really shows what it was like in the 70s. Um, I was not around in the 70s. My mom was. And um, when this movie came out, this was a gigantic landmark film. Um, this film not only showed the, you know, what it, the life and the nightlife of the 70s, but also just what a lot of people were living through during the time and what their lives were and how they found meaning in meaninglessness. And it's, it's a really interesting film. I love this film. John Travolta is just a master, uh, master in this film. He is just a powerhouse. Um, I love his, his performance in this movie as Tony Monero. Um, he gives just 110% in this movie, and this is basically the reason why he is a star still to this day. Um, I love his performance in this movie. Uh, the fashion, the music, everything about this movie is obviously Scream's 70s, and that is the whole point. Um, that is literally the whole point of this film is to capture that time period, and it does it incredibly well. Uh, it is a time capsule, and it is still uh, an amazing film still to this day. Anyway, um, I'm not really here to talk about the movie. Uh, that was my little synopsis. I love the film. It is a, uh, one of those rare, perfect films. Um, I reviewed another rare, perfect film recently uh, with the recent release of Heat, um, and uh, this is another one of those. Um, so yeah, we got we got two in a row here. Imagine that. Um, but uh, this new version of Saturday Night Fever is another total remaster. Um, it is actually a 4K remaster of the movie, which I didn't know was possible, but they did. Um, they did that in this movie. Um, it's amazing. Uh, it's a it's a total masterwork of remastering. Um, the movie still has a gritty look to it, but it looks better than ever. Um, I remember watching this movie on VHS when I was a kid, and it was the PG version. My mom did not let me see the R-rated version until many years later, but when I was very young, I watched this movie, and I was more concerned about the dancing than about the characters, but the... Um, the picture in this is is clear as day. Um, there is very little any kind of artifacts in it. There are some things here and there, but overall, this movie looks amazing, like absolutely amazing, and upscaled to 4K on my my uh, Sony Blu-ray player with the Vizio TV. This was just uh, mind blowing to watch, and it was it's amazing to see how well. Uh, they restored this movie after all those years. I mean, 40 years, and they re were able to restore it to make it almost look like a new movie. I and mean, this thing could have came out last week. Um, the 4K transfer is is basically as perfect as you can get it. Um, the sound in this is also remastered. The sound is actually a 5.1. I think it's Dolby, yeah, Dolby True HD, and it is an awesome, awesome uh, surround sound mix, especially with the music. Um, the music is, is, it sounds better than I've ever heard it. Um, if you're a fan of the PGs, you're obviously going to love this movie. Um, I love, I really enjoy their music and especially the soundtrack. This was actually the highest uh, selling uh, record of all time for quite a few years. Um, and up until I think The Bodyguard, it was the highest selling soundtrack of all time. Um, but again, this is just amazing sound. There are some certain points in the movie where the dialogue is a little quiet, but that may be, sadly, just the age of the film at this point. But they did a really good job with the sound remastering as well as the picture. Um, the special features in this are nice. 
Um, they're pretty good. There's one that's about, you know, like how they made the movie and they interview uh, quite a few actors um, and, you know, uh, producers and director, the director, John Badham. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool documentary. It's, it's probably, I think I say a little bit over a half an hour or something long. I'd really like to see a more in-depth uh, documentary of this movie because I know they can make one because um, it's such a landmark film. Um, but, uh, it's pretty good for what you get. And again, I got this for, I think like 10 bucks or something. And again, for $10, you can't get much better than this. This is the best this movie has ever looked. It really is, um, just a, a one of those rare, really perfect movies. Um, again, I just, I think it's the best release of this film yet. And I've owned this in three different formats now. I owned it on, on VHS. I owned it on DVD. And now we finally get a much better Blu-ray version. The old Blu-ray version of this I did not own. I actually rented it one time. And it was okay, but it really was just a... It was almost like a Blu-ray version of the DVD. There was no differences. This here is the reason to own it. My only complaint about this set, and it's really a minor gripe, is that the director's cut doesn't change much. Uh, it, it's, it's one or two added little scenes, very minor things nothing crazy, but I, I still like the little added scenes that are in there, um, but they don't add much of anything to the overall film, and it's nice to have, but nothing crazy. Um, it adds probably like two to three minutes to the movie, and that's it. They're very, very short scenes, um, but it's nice to have. It's nice to have, and those scenes are just as high quality as the rest of the film, so there's not like a dip in quality when they go to those added scenes. I didn't notice it. And, uh, I, I mean, what more can I say? Saturday Night Fever, quite possibly the best movie released in the 70s. Um, and funny enough, uh, you know, now it's 40 years old. So, wow. But anyway, um, a great release. Absolutely recommend it, especially for the money. You cannot beat this new version of Saturday Night Fever. Anyway, uh, that's my review of, uh, of this little gem here. Um, if you're interested in seeing more reviews like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this. And uh, we'll see you next time on Kavanaugh's Corner. As always, I'm Andrew Kavanaugh. Take it easy.